if you'd like a place where you can create quick groups of your students on a roster, um, you can use this group maker app. Um, it's from Alice Keeler. So hopefully wherever you click the link to this video, there is also a link to get to the template. Um, if you don't have this link to the template, you can just search for Alice Keeler and group maker. Um, so you can see Alice Keeler is here and then group maker is the product. Um, but hopefully you have a link and when you click on it, you'll get to a screen that looks like this and you need to make a copy of this spreadsheet. Um, so when I click make a copy, um, it might take a minute, but eventually the, um, the template will load. And the first thing you need to do is go to add-ons, but the group maker add-on, it will appear um, somewhere in your list of add-ons, but you can see it took a little while for it to appear. So if you click on add-ons and it's not there, just wait and it will eventually appear. Um, once you see group maker, you can go ahead and click start and you'll need to continue. This is just a first time thing. And it's going to ask me to select my Google account and then click allow. But eventually you'll get to this screen where you have the make groups button. At that point, you can go ahead in and paste your roster. So wherever you've copied your list of students, you can go ahead and paste it here. Um, you can manually type them however you need to get the students in there. Um, and set your group size. So this is the only other place where you can edit. Um, your group size can be obviously any number of students. I'm going to go ahead and change this to three. And then I'm going to hit the Make Groups button. And the makes group Make Groups button, um, you can see it, it adds a random number but then it also assigns each row to a group. So Eli, Bob, and Sally are in group one and so on. Now, when this is working correctly, you should be able to click make groups again and the students should rearrange. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm gonna go ahead and hit make groups. And you can see that Eli, Bob, and Sally are still in group one. And even if I change this, say um, I want to do groups of four, and I'm going to go ahead and make groups. The numbers on the right do adjust. So now there are four people in group one, but my list of students hasn't changed. So Eli, Bob, and Sally are always together. Um, so to fix that, um, this is just a bug in the program. To fix that, if you click up at the top of that list, highlight, all of your student names and then you can either right click or two finger tap somewhere on the list of names and randomize range randomize range will do what the make groups button should do um, so if i randomize now you can see finally new people are at the top and i can do the same thing again right click or two finger click randomize range and again i get another set um, you can also do that if you're not a right click fan. If you go to data, the randomized range is also there. Um, so you have two, basically two steps once your students are here. Um, if you need to change your group size, so I'll go to pairs. Then my, uh, my first step to get all these numbers correct is make groups. Once that adjusts, now you come over, highlight all your students and randomize range. Um, you will often have stragglers. So here I have um, one person alone in group seven. So what we can do with Mary is you can either um, just assign her to a random group or once everyone else knows their group, you can say, okay, Mary, we're gonna do this one more time for you, randomize range. And then it moved Mary to group one. So now Mary can go join group one. All right, let me know if you have questions. Good luck.